In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure and program scheduled run times into your Jacuzzi JVS variable speed pump. If you have the JVS 165S, 185S, or 270S, in this video I'll show you how to enter the configuration menu and set that up, as well as program run time and schedules. So here's the control pad. You have speed 1, speed 2, speed 3, and speed 4. These are pre-programmed speeds from the factory. You can also change these speeds in the menu. When you push the speed button, it'll run at this particular RPM until the normal program kicks in. Then you have your menu button with your arrow keys, and you have your plus and minus. This arrow key acts as the enter key. You have your stop and resume, and you have your quick clean. When you hit stop or resume, if you hit stop, if you're having a party, if you want to stop the pump, make sure you hit resume again, otherwise it won't go back into the program mode. So you have the configuration menu, then you have the timer menu, then you have the speed menu, and then you have the diagnostic menu. Okay, now I'm going to enter the configuration menu. You want to hold these two down for three seconds. Press enter. And then you're going to put plus and minus to change the display items. You have English here, you can change the language. I'm going to leave it at English, and this is the enter key. I'm going to change the date and time. Again, this is enter. And it's AM. You can also change it to PM. And this is to select if you want the speed displayed as RPM or percentage. And I like RPM better than the percentage of the speed. Max RPM, 3450 is fine. And then your minimum of 600 is factory set, and that's fine. Prime duration, 8 minutes is a little bit long. I'm going to lower it down to 3 minutes. And that prime duration is how long it runs at 3450 RPMs before it goes into your set speed. Remote control or standalone, there's no automated system with this. If there was, you would put it in relay control. But it's standalone. Then you have low temp operation. I'm going to leave it disabled from the factory. You can also enable it. If you enable it, you have to set the temperature that the pump will turn on at, and this will run for 8 hours at high speed. But again, I'm going to disable it. Password protection, I'm going to disable that, but you can enter a password in here, so no one can change the settings without the password. Okay, I'm in the timer menu now. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Right now, there are no times set. So for time 1, I'm going to go ahead and set, you can change the name of the timer by hitting the plus. I'm going to call this one filter low. And then here's the RPMs. I'm going to go ahead and set this one to 1800. And then it says 12 AM. I'm going to go ahead and go down. So when I go down and have this one come on at 8 a.m., if you hold the arrow key down, it'll scroll down quicker. And then I'm going to have it turn off at 4 p.m. And you can choose how many days you want during the week for this program to run. Seven days, Monday through Friday, or a specific day during the week. I'm going to let this one run seven days a week. So filter low is set for 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Next timer, and by the way, you can program eight different times in here. I'm going to put two times and one cleaner program in here for you. So I'm going to run this one from 5 p.m. And have it turn off at 10. And I'm going to have that run run seven days a week. I'm going to choose another timer here. I'm going to make this one the cleaner. And I'm going to have it run at 3000 RPMs. If you have a suction side cleaner or a pressure side cleaner, you need to set it to at least 2600 RPMs to get a good speed for it. And 
in this one here I'm going to run before the low speed program so I'll have it come on at 6 a.m. and I'll have it turn off at 8 a.m. so it'll run for two hours and I'll run this one Monday through Friday and besides the configuration menu and timer menu you have the speed menu and this is a menu where you can program in the speed of these four buttons you can also view the current speed here of each button you can also change the speed again when it's running and over here is a quick clean timeout button if you hit this it'll run for one hour at 3450 rpm you can also hit the button again to raise the run time go as high as 360 minutes and when you're ready to start it go ahead and hit this you can see it's running at 3450 rpm on this side here are the speed buttons you can enter these at any time even when it's running at the normal program time you can also change the speed of each of these buttons by hitting the arrow key up and down and then hitting enter here. This will save the speed at 1150 RPMs. Speed 2 is set at 1725 and you can throttle this up and down also. Save that. So configuring and setting run times in the JVS variable speed pump is very simple and easy. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals' trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.